so hello and today I'm going to show you a way to import some creatures into Mudbox but using different game called Spore let's just launch Spore this might take quite a while so I will I will cut this part until the game launches or maybe not I don't know let's just wait while it loads I'm going to ex tell you some notes so what I'm going to tell you is that first English is not my la native language so you might expect some spelling errors I'm just turning down the support I hate this music just I'm just going to bow so what we are going to do is we're going to take a creation I've already already done before. It's called Rakahim. It's a template that I made for this tutorial. As you can see, it's a pretty good looking template. Pretty much scary. Even the eyes are white. So we're going to edit in the editor. Going to paint mode. And we are going to hit Control Shift C, and we are going to type Colada Export all together and hit Enter. So, as you can see, you have here export to users, Patrick document, my sport creation, creator, Rakahim, there. There is the extension of Colad, but you have to accept and read this uh, rules. I don't know. So let's accept it. Once you accept it, you can pretty much close the game. And jump right away to Autodesk 3ds Max you can use Maya as well but you need the Collider plugin and I'm gonna be frank I don't know how to install the Maya open Collider plugin so I just use the Autodesk Collider plugin yeah I'm a pretty newbie in all Autodesk, Maya, all these modeling programs, so I'm um, just doing what I can. And if you have some tips and tricks, you can leave them in comment or just message me. It will really help me. I'm just getting started in here. I'm more advanced in Photoshop and let's say level designing. So let's import creature here, wreck at him. Can do all formats, it will import you, import it for you. So I don't know how to not import the bones I don't really know if you can do that but it will help us really a lot to do it just let us just let load the creature what we are going to do is simply just export it into object 
or yeah my god as I say I'm pretty new so I don't know how to delete bones because I want to create new bones on my box but I'm a new on this and I'm just showing a way of getting new stuff on it no, it's not. So I'm pretty much impressed because it actually imported materials and the hands are not smoothed. So pretty much impressed by it. So let's export it. So we can export to FBX as well. But let's export it to object and override this one so you can use the mud box preset or if you are working on zbrush it's a bit of it's similar to mud box but I'm choosing none because it will have some right some red stuff that I don't know what it is and I don't care about it so just gonna use none Done. so now you can basically just close out of this no I don't want to save anything change and launch mud box this process this might take oh no it's it was pretty fast so let's open here and my documents just max Support and rack at him. So I've got this incomplete, incomplete UAV set and high balance that vertex. I don't know what it is. I know that this have something to have with painting and lighting, but vertex. I don't know really. What it is, so I'm just gonna keep it all because after all, it's gonna going to change a lot. Just got this stuff here. I think it's where the critical errors are. So now to actually have your creation good scale, because if you use the size, the the small size which is 180 you can see that the brush is quite uh, quite too much big so let's just scale it to 700 by 700 by 700 so let's unzoom it and now as you can see the one brush is quite normal I think if you want you if you want to make it small you can as well but I always put 700 so from now you can use your imagination to create some insane creatures as you can see you can do basically everything you want to do like come here to wax fall off we use this now this one this one just and make some muscles just going to 
add more strength. I don't know why, but it, it is actually smoothing it. So I'm level zero, so just level one. Okay, it's doing it, but not the way I want. As you can see, I pretty much added some muscle shape. I think it's, it looks like muscle. But like I said, I'm not expert in this material. So, thank you if you watch this. It will mean a lot if you like, if you just like it not actually like it on YouTube but if you appreciate this video and you it was useful to you I will really really be happy just leave a comment if you have tips or any questions to this and maybe on my next the next tutorial I will be more advanced and I will explain some better stuff 